China, a country with a population of 1.3 billion people. Of this 1.3 billion, an estimated 83 million are disabled, which is roughly equivalent to the entire population of Germany. Of these 83 million who are disabled, around 12 million are blind, giving the country the largest visually impaired population in the world. Over 80% of disabled people in China live in the countryside and have very limited access to education, services and employment opportunities. For those who live in the heavily populated cities, massage is one of the only options for employment, that or begging on the streets. The future of most blind people in China is a bleak one, but it doesn't have to be this way. Located about an hour outside of Beijing is Bethel. Founded by Guillaume and Delphine Gauvain, it's the first and only non-profit organization that provides foster care, education and professional training for Chinese orphans who are blind or visually impaired. The centre is situated on 17 acres of land, is almost fully self-sustaining and the children of Bethel are able to work independently in the garden in order to harvest their own food. Bethel is not only environmentally conscious, but allows for the children to thrive in a clean environment as well. Bethel is a Hebrew name uh, and it means house. And for us, house is exactly what we wanted. We didn't want an institution. We didn't want a place where kids were just crowded and basically all day we just didn't want to do survival mode, we wanted to do the home mode with a mom and dad and and house with fun and house with um, just a normal, normal life for the kids. So house was a good good term. My deep aspiration, I think, was because I I wanted to protect. I uh, Since I'm a child, I, have, uh, I like to protect people. And uh, so once I grew up, I think the, the thing that, that I find myself doing is, is I want to create an environment where people feel safe and so when when we arrived in China we looked for the most vulnerable person here and so when we looked at children who are who've been abandoned by their parents and who uh, on top of that we have a disability and we know that those those children would be the had to be the most vulnerable people maybe on the planet and so we thought the more vulnerable they are, they are, the more energy it gives us to do something that is as, as safe as possible. And so this is why we created Bethel. Oh, I'm a, my name is Michael. I'm 11 years old. I'm a grade 2. Um, I've been there in two years. Michael is an example of one of the children who thrive here at Bethel. His charismatic personality sets him apart from others. I can play a lot of instruments. Clarinet, drum, piano, and guitar. When I was old, when I grew up, I want to be a musician. Uh, Michael, I, I think first of all, he's very tense. He's, or maybe better would be passionate. Like he. You meet him and in the first five minutes you can, you can tell he's going to fill the whole space, he's going to want your attention and as I heard him play the piano I was shocked, he definitely has a gift. Since the children do not have the advantage of sight, they have to rely more heavily on their other senses. Beth allows them to do this, mainly through the art of music. They don't see, I think they're just constantly singing, that's something they do naturally. And so, uh, yeah, music definitely is a big part of their lives. Uh, it's something they feel so connected to other people. And uh, it's something they're very conscious about because they can't see. The, the best would be for blind people to be recognized and to be heard. We want to be the voice of those who cannot, who are not, uh, um, who don't have any, any place in this society. We want to be a voice for them and offer other job and not, you know, I know massage is great for those who love it. But when I look at my kids and how bright and smart they are, they can, they can do much more. I love my Fago Papa and Fago Mama. Yes, they call me Fago Mama. 
yeah, we, we try to, it's harder because we have big, a lot of kids now, but we always try to do birthday with them. Uh, I make sure if they're doing great at school, I want to know they're great, I want to know their health, I want to know their heart, how do they feel if one kid is adopted on this day. I love Basel because it is my home. Uh, for, for me, it's meaningful. My life is full of meaning and it gives me a lot of joy, a lot of joy. I think, yes, what kept us coming, going is to be determined not to ever, ever quit whatever comes in your way. Uh, the cause is too great. Many times we've, we found that we needed to apply to ourselves what we are teaching the kids. And the most important thing we tell them is always, you know, yes, you have challenges, you're, you're visually impaired and, and you're an orphan and all that. Um, but you can't just stop there. If those kids, with all those um, difficult things have pressed on, then the least we can do is do the same.